it's Poet, and we are in the Lion King world. You can see that over there, that I have actually been starting to work a little bit, tiny bit, on my own tree house to get away from Rafiki. Um, and I think that what I'm going to do today is basically move some of the stuff that I have here away from Rafiki, and there's also another big thing that I want to do today. Um, but... Let's see, I need to at least get some some wood here. I need I need a chest. Do we have chests? Chests. Anywhere? Anywhere? A chest? And I don't mean a chest plate. Um Well then. Guess I'll just have to make one. With Acacia. Akasha. Acacia. I'll make a double chest. Okay. So my inventory is pretty much full. I gotta get down there and start working on basically loading things over there. What I wanna do is move everything so that when I finish the termite quest, when this place basically gets destroyed or whatever, I don't know what happens to it. Apparently everything disappears. Um I don't want my whole house to be gone. <laughs> so I'm gonna be basically moving everything um, all the way over here now I got to admit I recorded this before I hope it's recording now or I will be so frustrated I recorded this whole episode I did a lot of cool things um, and then I when I went to go edit it and upload it I was like gee it's quiet how come it's so quiet oh my sound didn't record so hopefully, hopefully you can hear me. Hi, people. How did you get in here? That is weird. Okay. Double chest. I'm just going to be stacking them back here, I guess. For now. Alright, come on. Like this. And I want to get rid of... Ooh. Put those in there. And keep that. Okay. So in... How do I get out of here? Jump on the chest. In the last episode that you guys never get to see because there was no sound, I went somewhere and... Well, I might as well just go there right now. Honestly. Let's go. So you eat a passion sapling, you glitch out, and this is the world that you appear in. Isn't this, like, the most gorgeous? Like, that purple sky? Purpley pink? Looks really, really, really gorgeous. Everything here. And nothing can kill you, as far as I can tell. Like, there aren't any bad things running around in the dark. There's passion trees, as you can see, way over there. They are growing all over the place. There's another. You've got these big red flowers that I don't think that we have in the other world. I'm not too sure. Losing my voice. Oh crap. Oh crap. There we go. Clear my throat. Okay, so. I need to kill some of these. Sorry, Zazu. Ah, oh, blue. I didn't want blue feathers. I want yellow. I need a yellow feather. <laughs> I need one yellow feather. Please. Come down here. blue again man well just walking around here though um, I, I do think that this is an okay place to get passion tree wood but it's so far I, I was expecting like almost every tree in the Upendi world which is where we are uh, to be this kind of passion tree but it's not it's mostly rainforest mostly rainforest some mangoes here and there um, but not as much passion in this world as I thought there would be whoa I just realized that I I cannot jump I am that hungry I need to kill some lions here or something to oh yeah and there's flamingos around I'm sure you saw the feathers in my chest a little bit earlier okay I need to gracefully get down here 
Gracefully. Ouch! You don't drop anything. I won't kill you. Flamingos, they don't drop any kind of meat. I wouldn't want to eat flamingo meat anyway. Probably. Zazu! Oh, he didn't even drop anything. Get me. Come on. No, you don't. Come. No. Ah. That guy's a crafty one. Hey. Give me your chops. Oh. That guy hit hard. All right. There we go. <laughs> Nothing kills them in this world. Then I arrive. I make their lives just miserable. I wonder if you can actually take quests from these guys in this world. If I had the talking amulet thing. Ah, I'm about to get starved here. Oh, that does nothing. That does not enough. I need to make... Ah, but I can't. Err. Quack. Alright, so let's see. Is there anything else that I could eat in this world, even? Not that I can think of. Not that I can see. Come here. Hey. Hey. Blue feathers. I don't want any. Okay. Ah, let's just get all the way up. It's getting dark, but I'm not afraid because this place doesn't have any bad things in the dark. Come here. I love the noise that they make when they die. <laughs> it's, sorry to admit, it's just funny. Oh, did I, I put my, crap, put my axe away. Totally meant to bring it to this place. And now I don't want to go back to the, uh, the other world because it's night time and I would die. Underneath the mango tree, I got a mango. That'll that'll feed me. Nom 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 nom. Ah, that didn't do very much. Come on, give me more mangoes. I remember a time when I was beating on mango trees and not getting anything from them. Now I get a mango almost every time. There's another. Feed me. Feed me a mango. There we go. It's better than killing innocent lions for their meat that doesn't even really do anything to me. Because I don't have a furnace. Okay, so let's see what we can see. Let's see what we can see. I can see more glowing trees over there. So we'll go see that. And maybe... Oh, we got music starting. If I teleport myself like right here. Oh, I bet I can't because I'm hungry. Oh no. If you lose health, you cannot I don't want to be stuck here. What's that? Something glowing over there. But it doesn't look like there's any passion tree. Hmm. Interesting. It's almost worth checking out. Some of the I think some of the le like maybe these red flowers glow. Yeah, maybe they do. Oh, they do. Oh. It's a, it's a very low level light, but it's something. Like see how dark it is over here? Oh. That is cool. Give me collect all of these. I love... And there should be more of that in regular Minecraft. I love the plants that make you glow. That can glow and... Well, not just plants, but any block that can glow on its own. Just love it. They should have more of that. Lighting, light emitting plants and blocks. But let's get to the Q&A time. It's Q&A time because I got to run on it. I, I almost forgot about it because I already did it technically. So I at least know the questions pretty much by heart. The first one is from uh, Mayag, I think. I think that's how you pronounce it. M-A-Y-A-G. Mayag? Mayag? Mayagi? 
29.29. And the question is, uh, does it make you fat? Uh, that's not what it is. That, that wasn't the question. But the answer to that question is 42. The real question was, how does it make you feel when you get positive feedback? Um, like, does it, make, does it make you happy when you get positive feedback? Of course it does. I love, I love positive feedback. It's, it's the best feeling ever when you know that you're doing something right. Someone likes what you're doing. Um, it, it just inspires me to do better, try harder, uh, keep doing what I'm doing. I love it. Um, it's the negative feedback, you know, the ones that... It, it's always, it's, it always starts the same way. And people, I don't know if they're just... It's so rude, some people. But they'll start with the words, I don't mean to offend you, but... If you find yourself typing that to anybody, not just me, but anybody, don't say what you're about to say. That's all I can... I'll tell you that. Just don't say what you're about to say. Because although you you don't mean to offend, but you are offending. You are offensive. You are mean. You are cruel. <laughs> Maybe not. I mean, it really does depend on what you're saying. But nine times out of ten. Maybe even more than that. 9.5 times out of ten times that I hear, I don't mean to offend you, but... It's a comment that makes... It doesn't make me feel like I'm doing something right. It makes me feel like I'm an idiot. Or makes me feel like I'm doing something wrong. Um, so I don't like... I don't like hearing those kinds of comments. The negative ones. The negative feedback. There's a difference between giving someone... Constructive criticism. Like, in a nice way. And saying things like... I don't mean to offend you, but you're boring. Like, how does that... How does that not offend me? You know? That kind of thing. Or, I don't mean to offend you, but you are an idiot. Oh, okay. Good thing you didn't mean to offend me, because otherwise I would have felt bad about that one. <laughs> but, you know what I mean. So, I love the positive feedback. I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, makes me feel better about doing everything like this, and makes me want to keep doing it for a long time. So, next question is from Rachel G, and the question is, how did you feel when you were making your very first video? And I probably have talked about this in many different series, in many different ways, but to be honest, I mean, my first video, you guys don't even see it. It's on YouTube, but it's on a different account, it's not on Poet Plays account, because that account didn't even exist back then. And second of all, um, it's, it's privated, so you guys will never see it. But the episode was actually an episode of Goods 404. Good Boulderfist, he's a YouTuber. Um, he has several hundreds of thousands of subscribers and stuff like that. But before he had that many, uh, he had made a map. And I did that map with a friend a long time ago. And we found it really fun. I still sometimes go back to that old account, watch that old episode, and just I laugh and laugh and laugh at what we were saying, what we were doing. It was, in all intents and purposes, a pretty good episode. But the quality wasn't very good. My mic wasn't good. Uh, recording software was bad. Um, the video quality was probably like, what are you, what are you doing? You want to come, come up here and join me? Come on. It's like a little puppy. Uh, the video quality is like 240p. It's not even three, uh, 320p. It's like, it's so bad. So bad. So, I mean, it'll never see the light of day again. <laughs> I can attest to that. It will be hidden forever. But I liked making it, you know? I, it, it wasn't really... We weren't making videos back then for YouTube. It was kind of just for ourselves to see if we could do it. And so... There was no nervousness. There was no, you know, oh, thousands of people will, will see this. And I, I get that. Like, now, every video I make, thousands of people will see them. And that's... I'm still not nervous about it, but if I had known that then, I probably would have been. Um, no, I wasn't nervous or anything like that. I felt pretty good doing it. It was with a friend of mine, like I said. 
So that kind of put my mind at ease about making the video, and I don't know, it was just kind of, we weren't doing it for to be professional, so it was kind of a breeze, you know? So that's how I felt making my first video ever. Um, the next question, and the last question actually, is from Sam one a group of people doing their own YouTube stuff, from what I can see of their channel, and uh, it says... If you had a time machine, where would you go and why? Which is a pretty awesome question to ask. I really like I like the questions like that that make me really think about an answer um, and are really pretty personal to me. Uh, so where would I go? And I mean, I've thought about this as a kid a lot, and you know, I'm sure everybody imagines them having themselves a time machine. If you haven't ever thought this thought, think it now. Where would you go? If you had a time machine, what time and why? It is a really, really interesting question. So what I thought, and this is what I thought when I was a kid. Such a... Yes, yellow, yellow feather, I think. Yes, 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 yes. Finally, yellow feather. Now I can make a jet pack at home. Um, I can see my health once again fading. Uh, okay. So where would I go? I, I'm pretty sure that we have some time travelers in this world already, and I'll get to that in a second. What I would probably do, I'd go back to the 50s, I'd go back to the 60s, I don't know when, but I would basically take back with me all of the great music of today and basically claim it as my own. Total plagiarism, copyright infringement. It would be mine. I would be a, a lyrical and musical genius. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure, like, you see people like Paul McCartney and David Bowie who have, like, basically hundreds of hits under their belt. I I think they are time travelers. They must be. Paul McCartney's, Paul McCartney's traveled through time many times to get his hits for the Beatles and himself. There's no denying it, Paul. I know it's you. Okay, so that that might be one thing I do, just just for fun. If I had to say for fun, I mean there are, there are other things I'd love. Like I'd be I'd love to go and see um, the launch of the very first space uh, space station. Uh, blah, not space station, but uh, like rocket into space, um, uh, man piloted rocket or like uh, sh shuttle into space. Would love to see that kind of thing. Witness that. Be there. Um, even to just be around in a time where you can see that on TV. You know, it's almost... We all grew up with that now, most of us watching. So, we we don't know what it's like to see the first time. I'd love to see that. To see the first manned flight, like the Wright Brothers type of thing. Uh, to witness that in person would be pretty cool. Um, and then you could, go, you could go even further back. You could say... I want to see the pyramids being built, or I want to see, you know, I want to see, um, ah, there's just so much, the Coliseum, when it was like live action, it would be just so cool, uh, so that's, that's kind of where I'd like to go, like, ah, just so many possibilities, that question is a pretty cool question for that reason alone. But that's, that answers the question, I think, I hope, I would, I would, oh no, oh no! I gotta eat. Crap. Mango, save me. I don't, I don't have food. And until I get food, or until I make a... See, do we have... We don't have cobblestone here, but we got pride stone. I can make a pride stone furnace. But I don't have a pick. Well, I'm stuck here forever. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I think that also ends the, the, uh, the episode. Like I say, I've recorded this one before, so I don't really... I don't want to record any more people. Sorry. And I apologize for this episode being a little bit late on Saturday because of it. But uh, before we go, I want to remind you to ask your questions in the comments. Leave a Q&A beside it so that I know that you want it answered in the Q&A. And uh, we, it will be hopefully answered on the Saturday edition of the Lion King mod. You know how it goes. Because we just did it. Now, with that said, I also want to say want to remind you to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and do all those other awesome things that you people do. We will see you next time on the Lion King mod. Where are your ears? Get some ears.
拜。